welcome, welcome, welcome to The Tonight Show, everybody. You're here. Good <laughs> Summer, although uh, I could have done without this on my subway ride to work today, a guy handed me sunscreen and asked if I would do his back. I go, like, <laughs> uh, here's some good news. Starting tomorrow, COVID vaccine shots will be available to kids five and under. Yeah, that's right. That's, that's right, kiddos. No more excuses. Time to head back to the office like the rest of us. Yeah. <laughs> Yep, kids can finally get vaccinated against COVID. Meanwhile, Chuck E. Cheese was like, I still wouldn't touch that ball pit. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, kids as young as six months can get Pfizer's three-dose vaccine. Yep, every parent's dream, uh, taking their kid three times in a row to get a shot. <laughs> three shots. Right now, parents are like, what the hell, might as well get their ears pierced, too. Let's go, everyone. <laughs> Well, everyone's uh, been talking about this. Over the weekend, President Biden was on a bike ride. <laughs> uh, I don't even need to do a joke. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, he's going for a bike ride near his beach house in Delaware when he took a little spill here. Uh, check this out if you haven't seen it. Poor Biden, uh, even his bike was like, I'm sorry, but I can no longer support you. Uh, and you go... <laughs> if you want to see that clip again, it's airing on a 24-hour loop on Fox News. Um... <laughs> 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 yeah, it, it, it's, it's shocking. Uh, not the fall, the, that Biden looks kind of good in bike shorts. That's what I thought. <laughs> I go, that's right, Biden fell and everyone has jokes, but no one ever talks about how good he used to be on a bike. Do you, do you guys remember this video? <laughs> I mean, they never show that. I mean, that was, that was back, that was back before, wow. that was back before you had toe clips or whatever. Yeah. Penny farther. Yeah, speaking of the president, according to a recent poll, most Americans do not want Biden or former President Trump to run again in 2024. Yeah, in two years, Americans got to walk into a voting booth like, uh, can we choose none of the above? What do we... Uh... <laughs> I think we're at the point now where 2024 is just going to be holograms of JFK and Reagan. <laughs> yeah. It's a tough choice. People are like, do I want a guy who can't ride a bike or a guy who can't walk down a ramp? I don't know which... <laughs> Well, on Saturday, Trump held a rally in Memphis, and he said pretty much what you'd expect. So instead of showing the same clips you've seen a million times, it's time for another installment of Trump with no context. Enjoy. <laughs> you guys see this? Uh, apparently, HBO is working on a Game of Thrones spin-off series based around Jon Snow. I'm pretty sure that already exists. It's called Game of Thrones. Am I right? <laughs> I'd be like NBC creating a Seinfeld spin-off based on Jerry. <laughs> hey, this is exciting. A new trailer for the next Fast and Furious sequel just came out, and I gotta say, it looks pretty intense. Uh, check this out. This summer, fasten your seatbelts because the family is getting back together for one more epic ride. <laughs> Fast and Furious 10, Joe Keo Drift. Presented in partnership with Menusel. Joe Keo Drift. Joe Keo. <laughs> Jokio Drift, Jokio yeah. Drift. <laughs> wow. Uh, hey guys, get this. I heard about a guy who was addicted to Pepsi and said he drank 30 cans a day for 20 years. Yeah, asked what finally made him stop. He said, well, I tried a Coke. <laughs> yeah, he's totally fine, except if you shake him, he explodes. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I, I read that according to a new poll, Americans only feel relaxed for about 40 minutes a day. 
I thought we'd try to uh, get that up to 41 by sharing some relaxing thoughts right now during the show. Can I get some music, please? <clears throat> Here we go. <laughs> hey. <laughs> no one remembers that you had bangs. <laughs> when your friends make a new group chat, they type in your name first. Every day, your mailman's like, oh my god, this is the most mail I've ever seen. <laughs> You're not a wimp for peeling off the pudding skin. That stuff's gross. <laughs> if he met you, Channing Tatum would probably like you. <laughs> that email that you've been meaning to send for two years, when you finally send it, it'll be that much more special. <laughs> Last night at dinner, you said something so funny, the waiter told the chef about it. <laughs> Nobody flosses. <laughs> Everyone's knees crack a little when they kneel, yeah. <laughs> The cooler you are, the louder they crunch. <laughs> and finally, you look great in that first selfie. There's no need to take any more. <laughs> you know. I feel better. I feel better. I'm more relaxed. I feel better. Thank you. Well, it was a crazy travel weekend all over the world, and I saw that there was a luggage malfunction at the London Heathrow Airport that created a bit of a backup. If you haven't seen this, take a look at this. Oh! Wow. It's odd when an airline loses your baggage but also knows exactly where it is. <laughs> One woman said, that's why I tie a little red ribbon on my back. <laughs> Meanwhile, TJ Maxx is like, looks fine to us. That looks cool. That's normal. <laughs> uh, of course, I'm in a good mood today. It's just the first day of summer. Yeah. Yeah. Seriously, I heard so many White Claws crack open today. I thought the, I thought the cicadas were back. You can tell it's summer. Uh, this morning, my Uber driver drove around with the top down. And by the top, I mean his shirt. Oh. And... <laughs> but yeah, summer is here, which means that you've got about a week until it's pumpkin season at Starbucks. So... <laughs> That's right, today is the summer solstice, which means it's the longest day of the year. <laughs> so if today felt extra long, you're either in our hemisphere or you own Bitcoin. Let's get to some news. Uh, starting today, kids under five could start getting COVID vaccines. So President Biden visited a clinic that was giving them out. Yeah. After a few minutes of listening to Biden, the kids were like, wow, this really is the longest day of the year. <laughs> but this was sweet. At one point, a five-year-old offered Joe Biden training wheels for his bike. I thought that was <laughs> so sweet. It was so nice. Switching gears, uh, apparently, apparently there's an old episode of Sesame Street that hasn't re-aired for decades because it was too frightening for children. Uh, yeah, but it just resurfaced online, and honestly, I'm not sure why it's considered so scary. Uh, take a look at this. Have you ever noticed how there's lots of different ways to love? Like, there's the way you love your family, and the way you love your friends. <laughs> I always get you, with the jump scare, always get you, even if it's Elmo. <laughs> we don't have a, do we have a camera that was on Quest or... No! We do? Ah! <laughs> 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 Elmo got him. <laughs> uh, some business news. I saw that Uber is bringing back Uber Pool, but now they're calling it Uber X Share. Ooh. Yeah, brand new name, same mix of smells. Uh, <laughs> that's right, they're going from Uber Pool to Uber X Share. That's way better than what it really is, uh, Uber COVID. Um, 
Hey, listen to this. Uh, today, Starbucks debuted their first ever chicken sandwich. Ooh. Yeah, if there's one thing people love Dunkin' and coffee, it's poultry. <laughs> By the way, if they don't call it Star Clucks, I want someone fired. Uh, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, did you guys see this? Uh, the Tampa Bay Lightning are currently in the Stanley Cup Finals, and one local reporter decided to show his team spirit by getting a lightning bolt shaved into his head. Let's see how that went. All right, so let me tell you about Sean Rivera. He is a master barber from Ebor. He is at Ferrari Barbershop. Is that right, Sean? Yes, sir. I don't want to scare you, but it really doesn't look like a lightning bolt. Yes. You explain what you just did. So, we put the two lines in for the first championship. We put a little bolt here. We put a bolt coming through here, and then we put a bolt here. <laughs> Now, now he's just going to support the team by wearing a hat for the next three months. <laughs> so here's some good news. New York City has lowered the COVID alert level from high to medium. Yes. <laughs> Finally, the, the hundred people crammed into every subway car won't have to be so careful anymore. <laughs> yeah, I'm excited, because if it drops one more level, the most dangerous thing will once again be the hot dogs. <laughs> I want to be the person who gets to decide the level, by the way. They're probably like, well, it's my birthday party this week. I want people to come. So, uh, medium it is. Medium. <laughs> my cousin's wedding's next weekend. Uh, back up to high. Uh, <laughs> everyone locked down. And this is big. The FDA just announced that they are banning all Juul e-cigarettes in the U.S. <laughs> yeah. No more Juul. No more Juul. That'll explain tomorrow when you see a bunch of your coworkers sucking on a Glade plug-in. Like, <laughs> you getting anything? You getting anything? <laughs> I think I'm feeling a little something. I don't know. That's a big deal, because if they also ban fedoras, your old college roommate is going to have a nervous breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile, the Biden administration says they're moving forward with a plan to eliminate nearly all nicotine in cigarettes. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Man, it is, it's a tough day for everyone who loves ingesting chemicals. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Can't even huff gas anymore. It's too expensive. <laughs> Speaking of Biden, yesterday he visited a vaccine clinic that was giving out shots to kids under five. And he actually had some pretty interesting things to say to the families. We actually got audio of it. Really? Uh, yeah, let's take a, let's take a listen to that. Oh. Kids got so many crazy toys these days. Things used to be a lot simpler. Closest thing to an iPad we had was a bullfrog. You fill its mouth with gumballs and roll down a hill. And when it blew a bubble, it'd float back up. Uh, that's just a weird thing. Really? That's a one. That's not. That's, that's not, not all you have. That's not all he you said. You have more? Yeah, we have more. Oh. Check check this out. Summer's the most important time in a kid's life. You got to go to a swimming hole, pull out a crawdad, and put a tiny leash on him, walking around the neighborhood, teach it tricks. And when September comes, you got something to bring to your school's crawdad talent show. First prize gets a coupon to the general store. It's good for one rhubarb flavored cough drop. People are like, what is this? Yeah, I mean, uh, finally he said, he said this. You remind me of a guy I knew back in Dover. We call him Woodfoot Magoo. Us freezer teens used to unscrew his wood foot while he was sleeping, and we'd chuck it at trees to knock all of our frisbees out. He was also the mayor. Yeah, it's just, uh, it's just interesting. I don't know. Just... The baby had no idea what he was talking about. Hey, guys, get this. This is real. I read the, a new report that said jacuzzis can actually be hacked and controlled by other people remotely. So, the next time you're relaxing in a jacuzzi, remember that the Russians can boil you like a lobster. <laughs> Hacking jacuzzi. Apparently, all the hackers met up like, I'll take credit cards. I'll take bank accounts. I'll take jacuzzis. <laughs> Bubbles high. Yeah. If you end up getting hacked, don't worry. It's still not the worst virus your jacuzzi has. So, don't worry about it. Uh, yeah, not, not you, not your jacuzzis. Everyone else's jacuzzi. <laughs> hey, did you guys see this? Uh, apparently, uh, the Ohio State University has successfully trademarked the word the. Nah. <laughs> yeah, and in a related story, we're now Let Tonight Show. Uh, that's <laughs> essentially. I like it. Well, some sports news. Uh, NFL star Rob Gronkowski, I love uh, Gronk, he just announced that he's retiring for the second time. Yep, Gronk is calling it a career, and he released a really nice statement about it. He wrote, Gronk run and jump for a long time, but now <laughs> Gronk say bye-bye football.
He went on to say, Gronk ready for a new life with less bang bang, more glug glug. <laughs> One time Gronk retire before, then Tom call and say he need Gronk, so Gronk go back. Tom is like human Ken doll. <laughs> Gronk love Tom Ken. They make team and win shiny medal prize. Gronk love shiny. <laughs> but materialism should never preclude one's pursuit of genuine happiness. I mean, Gronk love pretty metal, bye bye. There you go, it's very, I thought that was, was beautiful. Finally, did you guys hear about this new Mercedes Benz recall? It's not good, here, check this out. Mercedes Benz has issued a recall for nearly one million vehicles worldwide because of brake failure concerns. What? Oh man, I just bought a Mercedes Benz. Oh, sorry about that, Tree. It's okay, it's okay. At least I can still get around on my electric folding bike from Brompton Bicycles. <laughs> oh. Oh what? Roll the clip. Brompton Bicycles is recalling more than 2,200 electric folding bicycles. The company says the bike's mud guards are positioned too close to the front wheel. Come on, you gotta be kidding me. Yeah, I, I, I'm sorry about that, Tree. So I can't drive my Mercedes. Mm -hmm. I can't ride my bike. Can I at least still use my Nautilus treadmill? I don't see why not. Yeah, you know, my favorite part about the treadmill is that it has a state-of-the-art software program. Well, check that treadmill. If it is uh, made by the company Nautilus, it might be uh, getting recalled for a software bug. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, well, I'm sorry, Streak, Streak. I, I wish I could do something to cheer you up. I... Whatever. I'll just hang out at home with my kids this weekend. Yeah, I just got them a new toy from Amazon. It's called the Jingle Jumperoo. It's... <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, yeah, I wish, I wish there was something I could do to, 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 to cheer you up, I just... <laughs> don't, don't, don't encourage it, don't encourage it. <laughs> uh, I'm so sorry, Tariq, I, I, I just wish I could do something to, to, to cheer you up. Whatever, man. I'll just hang out at home with my kids this weekend. I just got them a new toy from Amazon. It's called a Jungle Jumperoo. And get this, I got it with just yellow poles. The toy is being taken off Amazon because it has unsafe levels of lead. One of the poles on this Jungle Jumperoo contains levels of lead that exceeds federal allowances. It's only on the yellow poles. I'm over this, man. I'm gonna go home and just have a spoonful of my favorite treat. Rainbow sprinkles from Wilton Industries Incorporated. That sounds fine. Yeah, you know, they taste great. You know, they're milk-free, and I keep them in my pantry, but I rarely check it. I want to check your pantry. Wilton Industries Incorporated is recalling some of their rainbow sprinkles because some of the products were found to contain milk. Fine. No snacks, no nothing. I'm just gonna go home and curl up next to the fire. Maybe light some candles and relax in my Cat and Jack unicorn pajama set. Retailers recalling the Cat and Jack unicorn pajama set because these pajamas fail to meet the federal flammability standards. You know what? I'm just gonna take a bath and relax. Maybe have a cup of tea to ease my mind. Now, I got a big date night tonight with the wifey. Oh, what kind of tea are you gonna drink? Well, I only drink organic strawberry tea from Urban Remedy. We have a 19 recall alert for you tonight. It's for an organic strawberry tea from Urban Remedy. It may be linked to hepatitis outbreak. Hey, hey, come on. We'll get him. We'll get him calmed down. We've got some really, really important news. Yeah, I read that due to a seed shortage, mustard could be in short supply this summer. Luckily, every parent still has a barrel in the fridge that they bought from Costco in 1997, so that's... <laughs> we're gonna be all right. That's right, a mustard shortage is happening. Apparently, all supermarkets are down to only 5,000 options. That's interesting. <laughs> you can tell things are bad. Uh, today, President Biden called Emmanuel Macron like, uh, pardon me, w would you have any grape poupon? Yeah, there's a shortage of mustard seeds. Uh, then French is like, thank God we make ours from plutonium. So. <laughs> you guys hear about this? Uh, Toyota is recalling all of their new electric SUVs because there's a risk that all of the wheels are falling off <laughs> while being driven. 
Toyota told the owners, drop off your car to be fixed, and the owner's like, uh, how about, can you come to us? I mean, what? <laughs> we have no wheels on the... Right now, there's a Toyota factory worker who's like, oh, that's what those 50,000 bolts are for. <laughs> I'm an idiot, I'm sorry. Guys, get this. FedEx announced that they will start taking photographs of customers' packages to prove that they were delivered. Ooh. Yeah. In fact, they even released this commercial. Watch this. We here at FedEx know your packages are important, so we're taking photographs to prove they were delivered on time, when scheduled, and with the utmost care. <laughs> FedEx. Nothing but net. There you go. That last, that last one that had a good aim. Great. Yeah, where that was good. Yeah. <laughs> uh, switching gears, there's a new documentary uh, coming out about January 6th that has uh, exclusive interviews with former President Trump, and they just released the first footage. Uh, let's take a look. I don't think you want to have the water in the picture, right? You can take it off. You know what you can do, Nick? Put the table back and put the water on the table without the thing on top of it. Go ahead, take it out. Yeah. All right. Right? Let's go. Riveting. People were like, uh, forget January 6th, just give me 12 more hours of what happened to that table. Yeah, the table isn't working. Get, get Rudy Giuliani to get on all fours and then balance the water on his head. As I mentioned before, uh, uh, YouTube has a new feature where you can skip the boring parts of a video and cut right to the good part. And I, I guess they have that something similar on TikTok as well. And we tried it out with some recent videos people have posted. For instance, if you're watching a video, you can skip this part. Whee! Whee! Yeah, and go right to this. Whee! <laughs> oh! That's <rough>. ah. <laughs> Wow. Let me give you another example. <laughs> Let me give you another example. You can skip this part. <laughs> oh. Oh. And, go, and go right to this. <laughs> no, 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 no. She missed, she missed, she missed. Oh. Uh, all right, maybe one more final one more example. One yeah, more. one example. You, you can skip this part. and go right to this. Woo! Woo! Slot is like that. Yeah, like a going Fork. upside down. Yeah, he, yeah he slot his necklace. <laughs> oh, man, he's good. He's there. Hey, uh, guys, I saw that Netflix officially confirmed that they're going to add a cheaper version of their service that has ads. Yep. A cheaper Netflix with ads, uh, yeah, and they're gonna call it Hulu. <laughs> Guys, listen to this. Uh, Amazon just announced that they're working on a new feature that lets Alexa speak in anyone's voice. You just give it some reference audio, and then it can impersonate your voice. I think it's pretty cool. Let, let's check it out. Uh, hey, Alexa. How can I help you? Alexa, speak to me in the voice of Jimmy Fallon. Okay, now I am Jimmy Fallon. Sorry, that's your, that's your impression of me? Yes. Hey, guys, I'm Jimmy Fallon. I host The Tonight Show, starring Jimmy Fallon. That, that's not a very good impression. Wrong. I sound just like you. Everyone, give it up for the roots. No, I, I, do, no, I, I, I don't... I do not sound like that. Yes, you do. I'm Jimmy Fallon. My favorite place is my desk. I have a mug on my desk. I love my desk and my mug. I mean, you, re you do say that a lot. No, no I, I, I do not. Higgins gets what I am talking about. Okay. Fine, Alexis, speak to me in the voice of Steve Higgins. Hi, Jimmy. It's me, Steve Higgins. How can I help you? That, that sounds just like me. No, that was my impression of Steve Higgins. 
I'm Jimmy okay, Fallon. Good. I think this needs more work. Let's move on. Let's, that's a little. Some big sports news uh, tonight was the NBA draft over at the Barclays Center in Brooklyn. Yeah, what a night. In 20 years, we'll be able to look back and say, uh, that suit did not age well. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> The, uh, the draft is exciting for two hours. NBA commissioner Adam Silver announces the picks and then flies back to his home planet. It's here. It's, it's great. It's, seriously, you gotta love the NBA draft. It's the one night a year where a 20 year old genuinely says, Yes, I get to move to Sacramento. <laughs> Guys, well, this is wild. Guys, Billie Eilish revealed that she sent a body double out on stage in her place at the start of her Coachella set and no one noticed. That's pretty crazy, right, Tariq? Yeah, Jimmy, that's some pretty wild stuff. <laughs> Higgins, notice anything different about Tariq? Uh, no, looks like the same old Tariq to me, Jimmy. <laughs> Quest, I, I think some people are using body doubles. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of unprofessional. You're right. I agree. Well, <laughs> in other news, I saw that a Swedish man broke a world record by throwing a washing machine more than 14 feet. Yeah, the name of the record he broke was World's Weirdest Man. <laughs> that's, that's the stuff! That's the stuff right there, Fallon! Oh, sir. Calm down, sir. Where'd he get popcorn? That's the, <laughs> no. He's not, even wearing, he's not even wearing a mask. <laughs> he's not wearing a mask. Sir, please calm down. That's the stuff. That's the stuff, man. Come on, that's the stuff. Uh, guys, I, I read this. Uh, there's, a, there's a rail worker strike in the UK right now, and, the, and one man who always rides a train has beaten the strike by paddling to work in an inflatable kayak. Here he is. Yeah. Yeah. If you thought the guy who biked to work was insufferable, imagine this guy. <laughs> Hey, this is fun, guys. A Star Wars fan just spent $2.3 million on a model of an X-Wing fighter. Yeah, when the buyer told his wife, she said, congrats, you now have two X's. <laughs> well, let's get to uh, some news here. Uh, the FDA just announced that they're banning Juul e-cigarettes, and now vapors are rushing to hoard them. <laughs> yeah, well, they're, they're rushing, but stopping every few feet to catch their breath. <laughs> You know, I don't like to judge, but if the terms vapor and hoarder applied to you, maybe it's time to do some reevaluating. I'm just saying. <laughs> yeah, vapors are going nuts trying to find jewels uh, for your goth cousin. This is basically March 2020 all over again. It's like. <laughs> some entertainment news it's a big movie weekend. Elvis is out this weekend. Uh... <laughs> Another movie called uh, The Black Phone just hit theaters, and it is a horror thriller about a psychopath known as The Grabber. Mm. <laughs> Actually, The Grabber sounds like a product your grandma would buy on QVC. You know, they oh, I think I, I need that. That's right, The Grabber. It's a terrifying tale of your friend who eats French fries off your plate. It's like, I, just, okay, I don't like, I really like that. Well, according to a new study, nasal swabs are still the most effective way to test for COVID. Yep, while the worst way is to breathe on your friend's face and go, does this smell like COVID to you? <laughs> Some business news. Uh, the company that makes Oreos is buying Cliff Bar for almost $3 billion. Ooh. They offered to buy Nature Valley bars, but the deal completely fell apart. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hey, I saw that in Ohio, a semi-truck hauling cheese caught on fire. Look at that. Luckily, five minutes later, a wine truck tipped over, and it turned into a delightful little afternoon. <laughs> Speaking of wine, I read that due to inflation, wine pours at restaurants are actually getting smaller. Mm. Yeah, you can tell there's less wine. Now when you turn on Real Housewives, they're discussing whether Ukraine should join NATO. And you go, hey, that's... <laughs> come on. Uh, guys, I heard the FDA uh, actually approved the new hair loss drug that regrows hair. Uh, did you hear about this, Drake? Yeah, yeah. I, I took it, and it totally worked. Um. 
It, it, it did? Yes. Look, I grew this long, luscious rat tail. Don't you just love it? Let's never speak of this again. Uh, all right, let's get to some other jokes. It won't be as funny as that. <laughs> hey, guys, uh, this is going viral. A woman on TikTok said that she uses the washing machine to clean her vegetables. Yeah. Her family only got worried once she started folding her vegetables and putting them in the dresser. There you go. <laughs> Guys, you know, there's a lot going on in the news right now, but instead of me just telling you all about it, I thought it'd be nice to just give you the chance to decide what we talk about. That's right, it's time for You Pick the Joke. You pick the joke. Uh, so here's how it works. I'm gonna show you two news stories, and then you guys get to pick which one we talk about. Okay, here we go. Let's take a look at story number one. President Biden is urging Congress to give Americans a tax break at the pump. Okay, here's story number two. Some residents of a Tampa apartment complex had a very unusual experience just a short while ago. Witnesses say a naked man pulled the fire alarm, then sprayed residents with a fire extinguisher as they exited the building. What? <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> wow. All right, which story you want to talk about? One or two? Yeah. Uh, all right, good, good choice. Okay, that's right. Eight. A naked guy in Tampa pulled the fire alarm, then sprayed people with a fire extinguisher when they came out. So I guess even though he retired, Rob Gronkowski is still living in Tampa. That's everything. Right. <laughs> Let's do another pair of stories. Once again, you guys get to pick. Here's story number one. Today, the Federal Reserve took aggressive action to tackle the fastest inflation in four decades. Got it. Now, here's story number two. Milk, eggs, and this? Cassia Britt tells the problem solvers when she opened her bag of delivered groceries from Walmart, she couldn't believe a crack pipe was packed inside right next to the pineapple. Which story was about number one or number two? Yeah. Uh, great choice. That's right, a woman's Walmart delivery included a crack pipe. <laughs> Normally, if you want crack at Walmart, you just raise your eyebrows at the cashier. <laughs> All right, let's do one last batch. It's your choice. Here's story number one. There's a new poll out showing President Biden's job approval rating has dropped for a fourth straight week. And here's story number two. An Indiana man finds something a little fishy after catching a catfish on the Ohio River. When Hoop cut open the fish, he found a foam ball and an adult toy. <laughs> <laughs> story number two. Great choice. Uh, that's right, a man found a sex toy in a catfish. It was the first fishing story where nobody wanted to hear how big it was. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Catfish. <laughs> really catfish. You won't believe, yeah, yeah, you got catfish, yeah. Pick 